In today's lesson, we're going to have a look at how to import two-dimensional images into our Tinkercad design. It's a fairly straightforward process, but there are several steps involved. We've got to locate and save an image. We've got to take and convert that image into a format that Tinkercad will accept. And then we're going to manipulate that image within Tinkercad to create something. So let's have a look at it and get started. First of all, we've got to locate and save an image. So I'm going to go to Google and we're going to use specific keywords to get us a good image. Now the image that we use has got to be a black and white image. That's all it is. We can't use color. It's got to strictly be black and white. So you can use words like stencil. You can use words like silhouette as keywords when you search to help you find things that you want. I'm going to use the words cartoon stencil. And then we'll bring up the image results for it. The results that come up initially have all sorts of images and keep in mind you really could use any image for what I'm going to show you. But I want to show you some of the tools that are offered for Google when we're searching in images. Um, under usage rights, we can look for images that can be labeled for reuse. That means that the copyright violation doesn't apply, that I could actually use these for my own purposes. So I'm going to go labeled for reuse. Um, and then I'm going to go for this one right here. This is a cute little image going to go view image and then on the Chromebook here I have a mouse in so I can right click on it or you could use the trackpad to do a double click we're going to use save image as now I'm going to retitle this so I know what it is and I'm going to click save now because I'm on my Chromebook I know that that's going to be in my files app if you're doing this on a on a normal laptop computer just make sure that you know where you saved it because we've got to change it into a different type of file Okay, so let's talk about file formats that are acceptable in Tinkercad. The only type of file that Tinkercad will accept as far as two-dimensional images is what's known as an SVG file. That is a scalable vector graphic file. Okay. Um, now the difference here, a JPEG, you would know uh, if you were to enlarge it and enlarge it and enlarge it, what happens to it is it becomes very pixely the larger you go. A scalable vector graphic is unique in that it can scale to any size and it will maintain all of the definition of the original. Okay. Um, so what we've got to do then, we're going to go back to Google and type into Google, convert image to SVG. Okay, um, and this very top one where it's got our description here, and normally the top result. This is the one that I use whenever I am trying to convert images to an SVG. Just keep in mind there are tons and tons of links and ads and all sorts of things around here that we don't want to bother ourselves with. We want to go directly to where it says upload your image you want to convert to SVG. And let's choose a file. It's going to open up my files app. Cute stencil is what I called it, so I'm going to open that one. Okay, so it's got my file chosen, cute stencil. There's a lot of different things that you can do here, but in fact, all I want to bother with is converting the file. Takes a minute for this to convert. All right, and it has been downloaded. So now if I open up my files app, we have cute stencil as an SVG file, and then we have the original file here as well. Okay, now we're ready to go. Let's get over into Tinkercad. Let's go for create a new design. All right, once our new design is pulled up, we're going to reference over here where it says import. Okay, so we'll click on import. Now notice these are the types of files that it will support, STL, OBG, and these are 3D files, and then SVG is our two-dimensional file. So let's click on choose a file. It's going to bring us back to the files app again. And we are going to select our SVG file. All right, now just something to watch here. Um, there is a maximum length and width that it will take. It's at about 2,000 is the maximum. Um, you can alter the scale. I think this will be a, a decent enough size that it will fit without a problem. So I'm just going to click import. But when it imports, it will probably be very large. And there it is. So we'll zoom out. But that's our two-dimensional image. And now you can see that we have it as a three-dimensional graphic in Tinkercad. So let's select this thing. And let's go shift and scale it down so that it keeps it the correct size. Let's move that over back onto the platform and zoom back in then. 
Um, now you could just deal with this as a simple three-dimensional object, but what I'm going to do is create this as a stencil. So let's grab a box. Let's bring the box and make it just a little bit towards the outside of what we're dealing with here. Let's check this from the side and let's have our new SVG image raise up slightly. Then let's bring the box and get that box to go up larger. We'll zoom out so that it covers the entire thing here. Okay, just having a look around. Now, for a uh, correct size of a stencil, we want to have that at about like one and a half millimeters on this here. So let's drag this down. We'll take it at two millimeters. That'll be fine. And then the image that we brought in, let's take that as a whole. Now we take everything that we have and group it. and we're left with a very nice stencil. And that's it. So you can literally take any image that you want to, black and white image. So think about using words like silhouette or stencil in a Google image search. You would save that image and then convert it to an SVG and it drops right into Tinkercad. It's a few steps to go through, but honestly, I don't think that it could get much easier. I hope that that helps you working on your designs in Tinkercad. Thank you for joining me today.